Hello, everyone. My name is Ellie Shreve. I'm here with Inside the Gators. And here with me, I have Michigan safety transfer, RJ Moten. So my first question is, you know, your dad played for the Gators. So growing up, how much did he talk about his Florida playing days? I mean, he didn't really talk about it, you know, once I started getting in my recruiting process, because he didn't want it to be like, me have to try to live up to his shoes, you know what I'm saying? But, like, when I was younger and, like, finally understanding, like, how far you can go in football, he would show me, like, little clips here and there. But he never really was, like, forced Florida on me or, like, um, or, like, really talked about it, like, you know, all crazy. He always wanted it to be, like, yeah, this is your show, you know what I'm saying? Like, I already, like, my time is done, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not worried about me right now. We're worried about you. So, I mean, he didn't really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, didn't really, like, talk about it as much. But since, uh, you know, like, we visited and I committed, then I, like, he started, you know, showing me more film and, like, you know, talking about it. Like, oh, yeah, this was – I'm sorry, did my thing cut out? Yeah, just pause a little right there. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. But, nah, he – uh. You know what I'm saying? Didn't really do, didn't really say much about it. When we got down here for the visit, that's when he really like opened up about everything and uh, and just showed me where he used to live, who he used to hang out with, everything like that. So, okay. So, when you were coming out of high school as a four star, did you have any interest in Florida? I always was like, if Florida offered me, then like I'll look into it everything like that but I ain't like off the bat I wasn't like yeah like I want to go to Florida like no nah, I wasn't like that I was really trying to stay closer to home I know Michigan not that close to New Jersey but um but not nah, I wasn't like oh yeah it gotta be Florida because my dad played there you know what I'm saying so so ultimately what led you to Michigan so I I played baseball too or played baseball out of high school and I like before, un, like understanding how much goes into like college football. Um, I wanted to play both or try to do both in uh, college. And um, I think I had like thirty some offers, and out of like uh, out of thirty, maybe like three or four was like, yeah, you come do both here. And Michigan was one of them, and it was like. Who wouldn't want to play in front of 100? I think the most I played there was like 115,000 people. You know what I'm saying? It's just like the atmosphere was cool and everything like that. Stadium, the biggest stadium in the world. But uh, and I mean that's really that's really um what had led me over there. Um, so yeah. Okay, awesome. So did you get an opportunity to tour Stadium House, and is that where you'll live? Uh, you talking about like in Florida? Yeah. Oh, um, nah. Uh, they had shown me City Place where I I'm at right now. Uh, okay. Celebrate a little new area. Um, I kind of just said I wanted to be out the way, live alone, and like not that like I'm weird like that, but like I just you know I'm I'm here for I'm here for a reason. I don't I don't want to be with all the all the noise and all the all the rah rah. So I'm at City Place. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So while riding around campus, did your dad act as a tour guide or was everything too new? <laughs> nah, he he was trying to act like a tour guide. He was trying to, but the two ladies that was helping us out, I forget their name. Um, they work at the facility too, but they were kind of correcting him like on some like being funny with it though, like, you know what I mean? But he was kind of acting like a tour guide, like, oh yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like he lived in uh, Yon Hall, I think it is, like in the stadium. Uh, so he's like, oh, hey, there's Yon Hall. Like here was like where we did this or that. And, but I was like, bro, like be quiet and let them talk. You know what I'm saying? But but nah, he kind of he kind of did. But like just in, just in a funny way, he was reliving his moments. He ain't been he, he hasn't been on the campus like actually like in this depth since or in this deep like since uh, 2019. That's when they played LSU. For like an alumni day, but other than that, last time he was on the on the field was last snap uh, at Florida in '87, I think. Sorry, '87, I think it was. Okay. Um, so yeah, but. So while you were going on the tour, did he share a lot of memories with you? Um, 
I wouldn't say memory like memories with me. It was kind of like it was kind of like uh just showing, oh yeah, we did we we were here. I mean, I guess that's a memory. I guess that's a memory. But it wasn't like Yeah, I, I'll say yeah, he did share some memories. I mean, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, what made you decide that you want to enter the transfer portal? I mean, uh it was a hard, it was a very hard decision. Like very very hard decision. You know, Michigan is a great place, and um, I'll forever be thankful for Michigan and all the coaches there, and especially, you know, uh, my DB coach, Steve Klinscale. Um, I created a great bond with him. I created a great bond with all the coaches, but I felt like I was the tightest with Coach Klink. And um, it was a hard – it was a tough decision, you know, because I was supposed to graduate this December, too. Um, you know, I, I, got, I made a lot of friends out there. I was well-respected out there. You know, not only by the team, but also the fans. I was viewed as a leader on the team. Um, I just feel like for me, you know, like college football is a business. And like the coaches, they going to do what's best for them because they got to get paid to feed their family or else they fired. You know what I'm saying? And the player, you know what I mean? You got to do what's best for you. And I just felt like what was best for me was a fresh start. You know what I'm saying? and new opportunity. And I'm not saying I didn't have opportunity there. You know, I was a starter for two years, played in every – I played – I only missed one game, played in the biggest games. Um, and I'm not saying they didn't give me any opportunity or anything like that, but talking it over with my parents, uh, like I said, it was very hard, very hard decision. Um, kind of just felt like I needed to do what was best for me. And this – and, you know, entering the transfer portal was – I believe best for me. So, I mean, whether they see, you know, whether, you know what I'm saying, we see eye to eye at Michigan, you know, um, or not, but I feel like that was best for me. But like I said, it was, it was hard. You know, I was sleeping on it for like a minute. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to, you know what I mean? Break, burn any bridges. Like I said, I, I had a, I consider coach Clint a second dad, but um, you know what I'm saying? He'll still call me here and there. And, you know, he know I'm in good hands. I know they're going to be good over there. So that's that's really it. So what programs were interested and what made you decide on Florida? Okay, so I didn't know how the transfer portal really worked. So, like, so but people had told me, like, yo, like, once you hit the portal, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're a well-known name in college football. Like, once you hit the portal, like, it's going to blow up. So, like, I was kind of scared. But um, shoot, first people that kind of hit me up once I hit the portal after like 10 minutes was obviously Rutgers, hometown. I had Tennessee, LSU, Florida, Arkansas, Ole Miss. Um, I had Oregon. Um, no Big Ten, really, besides Rutgers. Um, I had Kansas State, Oklahoma State. Uh, Texas A&M was reaching out a little bit couple smaller schools, Charlotte, Western Kentucky too. Um that might have been that might have been I don't remember off the top of my head, but that might have been it. But when I came down to Florida, um it was kind of like it was I was kind of shocked, you know what I'm saying? Cause uh I didn't know what to expect really. You know, my dad obviously is from Clearwater, so I got family here. My uncles are living in Orlando, my older sister lives in Orlando. She works at Disney. Um, I got family in Clearwater, like I said. I got friends in Tampa. Um, but when I came down here and I, I had built a connection with Coach Armstrong because we both got the same vision. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to trust him. And he got to trust me. And we both, like, we both knew to the program. So it was like just building that, building that relationship with him and just hearing how much he cares about not only his goals, but the players as well it was like, you know what I'm saying? And I've played for a young coach before, you know what I mean? Like I played my high school coach, I think when he got the head coaching job was like 28 years old. And now his first year was the year like I blew up. So like I know how it is to come in as a young coach, but like to see that we both got the same view, like, yeah, he want to help me make a, make a, uh, make the league and be a high round draft pick. You know what I'm saying? But we both want to, we both believe that Florida can really be a top team in the nation. You know what I'm saying? So, like, 
Um, and just seeing how much, you know, academically too, because my mom's a teacher, academically they care about the academics here, like the, it's out of this world. And then, um, shoot, I, would, I mean, I'm not big into like all the glamour and everything like that, but like the facility, like it's like state of art facility. Like I ain't never seen nothing like it, but, um, and I just feel like I had the best opportunity, you know, to come in to the DB room or the safety room and, you know, they all young and, you know, I'm not saying I'm not going, I'm going to come in there and start right away. No, like I'm still have to prove to them. Like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all can trust me and, and, and I could trust them, you know what I'm saying? But, but to be able to come in into a safety room where everybody is young and they're very good players, very talented players, and to be able to be that vet and that older brother that, you know, they could lean on, you know, I'm, I'm knowledge, my knowledge of the game is like ridiculous. I like to say, you know, I've played, like I said, I've played in, you know, the playoffs, you know, that's where everybody wants to get to playoffs. I know what it takes to get there. I know what it takes, you know, to be in them big games and, and and everything like that. I know how it feels to be in them big games when you're down by a touchdown and like you up on your rival, you know, you know what I mean? In like so many years, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, I mean, just to be able to come in there and, and, and just give them a piece of, a piece of me and, you know, hopefully gain their trust and I gain their trust and build that bond. So. So you spoke about your relationship with coach Armstrong. So what have been your thoughts on Billy Napier and kind of the relationship you have with him? Oh, coach Napier. Cool. He cool for real. You know, when we, uh, when me and my dad came, came here, he, um, we obviously, you obviously going to meet with the head coach. We, he brought us in and we didn't even really talk about football. For real. I mean, obviously he, wanted to know like why I was in the portal and everything like that. But other than that, we didn't really talk about football. We were just talking about life. And um just seeing that make me understand that he understand like not everything about football. You know what I mean? Not everything's gonna be about football. I'm like, yeah, at the end of the day that's why we're here and everything like that. When when it's time to worry about football, it's time to worry about football. But he's a very open guy, you know, like you easy to conversate with, uh easy to relate to. And um I mean yeah he he cool. He cool. That's my guy. So how do you feel about Florida football, just kind of like overall current state of the program? You know, what are, what are your thoughts on the program? At first, I didn't really know much about the program. Um, but just hearing meeting some of the guys and hearing that, you know, they're in a rebuilding stage, but like they're past the the rebuilding stage, if that makes sense. Like they like they just needed it. They just like we just need. I got to stop saying they got to start saying we. But uh, we just need like a couple, couple more pieces here and there and we're going to be straight and just want everybody to realize like, bro, like we're not like some slappies. Like we like we're Florida. Like we're, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like we're not slappies. We can compete with whoever we, we want to compete with. Like we're in the SEC, like SEC ball is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but just hearing that everybody want to change the the way of everything and change the culture and like put Florida back on the map and like make it known that like when you come to the swamp, <laughs> like it's trouble for you. Like we're not, you know what I mean? Like it's not that anymore. So just hearing that everybody got the same goal, same end goal. Everybody want to make it to the league, but everybody want to push their brother to go compete on Saturdays and perform well on Saturdays so we could go get that national championship. Love to hear it. So what do you think you bring to a team? Once I get to know once I get to know everybody like outside of football, like very like very goofy. Once I get like comfortable around everybody, everybody get comfortable around me. But besides that, like football wise, I bring like knowledge. Like I like to think like I'm the smartest kid on the field. You know what I mean? Like I'm thinking before the offense is even thinking, you know what I'm saying? I'm no, I know everybody, I know I got to learn new defense, but it's going to come to me. Like, I'll know where everybody's going on the defense. I'll know who's supposed to be what on the motion, what's supposed to do that. You know what I mean? So I, my knowledge, I'm a competitor. You know, I like to compete a lot, a lot. I don't like to lose. Um, I'm going to talk my trash to, like I said, you know what I mean? Once I can prove, once I prove it, you know what I mean? I got to prove it, but I'm, I'm going to talk my trash. Um, and then uh, 
really just the just the older brother too. That's like I said, the team, the team, um, especially the DB room is young. So really just the older brother, somebody that's always going to be there for your brother. You know, I, I'll put, I tend to put everybody else first besides me. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but like if somebody need to get picked up at night, you know, I'll pick them up, drop what I'm doing. So just somebody that is real caring, going to push that, push everybody and tell you straight up. Like if you, you know what I mean? If you BSing, like, yo, bro, like, come on, pick it up. Like, you, you wild, you know what I mean? But, um, but other than that, I mean, that's, that's really it for me. So. All right. So now I'm going to do some fun get to know you questions so Gator Nation can get to know you better. Um, let's see. First question three things on your bucket list. On my bucket list? Yep. Like in games to do in Gainesville? No, just like overall. On my bucket list? Um, well, all right, like, since I've been here, I want to see an alligator. I haven't seen, like, a real-life, like, wild alligator just, like, chilling on the grass. Like, the zoo don't count. The zoo don't count. But, like, <laughs> I want to see an alligator. I'll tend to, like, drive on my way to the facility, drive by, uh, I think it's called Lake Alice, mm-hmm. and, like, try to go real slow, see if I can see one. I want to see an alligator. Um, My bucket list. Um, shoot, I want to make my dreams come true. Uh, I don't know the third one. I got a lot though. So like, on my bucket list though, I mean, I like, I mean, I'm trying to think. Uh, win a national championship, obviously. Um, is there somebody I want to meet? I don't know who I want to meet, like celebrity wise, but the main one, the main one right now, in the, especially in the summer, is see an alligator. Like I really want, and not like a little one. Like I want to see like a real life, like big, like big one, like twelve feet. Cause I hear they be just walking across the street. Mm-hmm. Have you seen one? Mm-hmm. For real? I mean, I'm from Gainesville, so I've seen a lot. But um, yeah, Lake Alice definitely. There's a lot in there. You'll see them like in the water. They'll come up to the edge. Also, Payne's Prairie, I definitely recommend that. Like, if you go out on, like, the boardwalk there, like, they'll, like, come up and just, like, walk across. So, like, those the are good. boardwalk? Things. Yeah. Oh, you're tripping. <laughs> the way- so, like, you're on the boardwalk, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'll come up to the boardwalk and, like, around the edges of the water and stuff. Whoa. <laughs> and they don't, like, bite? I mean... No. I mean, they, they don't, don't mess with you if you don't mess with them. For real? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Do they, like, hiss? Don't they hiss? They make noise, right? I mean, I've never heard them make a noise. They're just chilling there. Whoa. I got, I'm got. i going to do that this week. What's it called? Prains pra- Prairie? Payne's, Payne's Prairie. I'm going to do that this I'm going to do that this week. I got to see that. Also, Lake Alice, for sure. Like, if you, like, walk, like, near the edge. Like, look in the water. And you'll see them? Yeah, usually. And I want to see the... I I do want to see the little bat thing we got going on, too. Oh, yeah, the bat houses. Yeah. Those are cool. That's, like, right across the street. Was They just, like, people just sit there and watch bats fly? Yeah. (laughs) I think there's, like, a certain time. You'll have to look it up. That, like, I haven't done, but I've heard about it. But I think there's, like, a certain time that they all, like, come out. Oh, for real? Yeah. I mean, that's really it, for real. I do want to see an alligator, though. I do want to. <laughs> I saw a snake yesterday in the, in the street. Oh, yeah. And I was like, yo, like, I took a video and put it on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like coming from Jersey, especially Michigan, like you don't see it, like you don't yeah. see it. All right, let's see. Next question: What is something about you that might surprise Gator Nation? <laughs> something about me that might surprise Gator Nation. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Cause like I said, like once I get like comfortable and like everybody get used to being around me like I'm really an open book what's surprise that um uh 
Um, I think I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I do. Like what I do. That's like not normal. Do you have any like other hobbies outside of football or like any hidden talents or anything? <laughs> hidden talents. Um, I feel like, but this is everybody. Like when you're in the shower, like you can sing. Like I feel like I can sing, but like don't like I don't want to sing for anybody. <laughs> like I don't want to like sing in front of the team. <laughs> I mean, that's, like, that's it. I mean, I don't really know, like, another hidden talent that I have. I'm pretty talented in all my talents, so. What are some of your go-to songs to sing in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you know who this is, but little Charlie Wilson. Um, I like Charlie. I like a little um, A Boogie when I get in my feelings. Uh, um, Tory Lane's cool too. Little Whitney Houston here and there. Um, that's it. That's really it for real. That might okay. be it. What are like your top three music artists like overall? Top three? I. I need five. I okay, five. top five, top five. So obviously, obviously, I don't. All right, hold on. It's really six because I got Lil Baby and Gunna. Them, I listen to them the most. Then you got, I like Babyface Ray. That's the he from Detroit. Um, then. You gotta throw a little Dirk in there, a little Dirk too. Baby Smooth, he's from Detroit. I like Yachty too. And then um Hancho, but it's spelled with an X. H X Cho. Or H X N C H O. He's good too. I really see I'm missing some too. Like Rio, he's from Detroit. Skilla baby. I really don't have like a top three. Like I listen to like a lot, you know what I mean? So Okay. Okay. So what is your favorite Gatorade flavor? Red. What's that? Fruit punch? Nah, I'm tripping. No, there's a um there's a Gatorade flavor. Let me look it up real quick. I think it's like cool blue or something. It might be cool blue. It's like light blue though. I'm looking it up right now. Um, Gatorade flavors. It's like cool blue. Okay. Wait, let me see. I also like the little rain one. It's called rain. Oh, it's called Arctic Blitz. Okay. What? <laughs> oh no, it's not Arctic Blitz. I'm sorry. Isn't it like gl glacier ice or something like that? You might be right. I oh, know it is Arctic Blitz. Okay. It got, oh no, a oh, glacier cherry. Oh no, here you go. Here you go. Here. Oh no, it is Arctic Blitz. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it is Arctic Blitz. And I like the uh, Riptide Rush too. That's good Gatorade right there. But... All right, next question. Do you like orange or blue better? Orange. Okay. Oh, sorry. I found one more Gatorade, but this is the all time this is the all time favorite. Like I can't find it. It's the pineapple pineapple mango peanut mango. That's the best Gatorade right there. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Stay right there. But orange, I like orange better. Or okay. Orange. Or how do y'all say orange? Orange. I always get made fun of how I say it, so. <laughs> I say orange. Orange, orange. That's how I say it. All right. Next question. All time favorite movie. Uh, 
probably Ride Along with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Okay. What about TV shows? Martin. I like Martin. That's on BET. Okay. I like Stranger Things. Always going to be good. I might watch that after this, actually. <laughs> uh, Wednesday's good. Shooter's good. Um, um, uh, uh, Shameless was great. So, um, I'm missing some. I'm missing. Oh, Gossip Girl, good. <laughs> I love Euphoria. that. <laughs> Gossip Girl, good. I <laughs> Euphoria is good. Wait, who are? Wait, did you say Victorious? No, Euphoria. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. But Victoria's good too, though. <laughs> what? Who are your favorite characters in Gossip Girl? I have to ask. Okay. Um. What's the one guy's name? Max. Yeah. Yeah. I like Max. I do. I like Max. I like. Um. Ah, I forgot a name. Not the main, not the, uh, not the teacher. Who, not, who is the one girl, um, that Zara, Zora, or Zara, Zora, or Zara, was in like that little like after school class thingy with. Hmm. You know who I'm talking about? I know who you're talking about. It's been so long since I watched it, but I, I know who you're talking about. I like her a lot. She cool. I like Zara, Zora. Zora, I think it is. Z, we'll call her Z. Yeah. That's what it is. The show's good, though. Too much drama for me, though. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't like that, that much drama. But... For sure. All right. So I think that's it on my end. Do you have anything else that you'd like to add to say to the Gator Nation? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, like, for real. All right. Lastly, can we get a Gator Chomp and a Go Gators? Isn't it just like, wait, oh wait, hold on. Like this. Yep. And go Gators. <laughs>